Hello. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Christine, and this is Christine's Awesome Things. Today, I had wanted to talk to you about something that I'm very passionate about. Gardening. It's getting close to that time where we gardeners get ready for the gardening season. Usually about eight weeks before the last frost. I personally start a little bit earlier because when I plant my um, seedlings and things, I get a head start, okay? I used to buy my plants at a nursery. And over the years, I learned how to start from seeds. And I've learned that growing your plants from seeds save you a ton of money, okay? When you buy the plants, the vegetable plants, at places like Myers and Walmart and such, I want you to understand that when they say hybrid on them, that means that they cannot be harvested. The seeds cannot be harvested, okay? That's one. Two, if you're going to start from seeds, there's a couple of things that you might want to consider. Now, I'm going to say this for the ones that are just really getting out there and starting to garden, okay? When you buy seed starting mix, if you're starting from seeds, if you read the ingredients, it will say sphagnum moss. Sphagnum moss is an absorbent for seedlings and potted plants. It is the main ingredient. If you see peat moss, it's the same thing as sphagnum moss, but it's in a different form. Sphagnum moss has a balanced pH, low acidity. Peat moss has a higher pH balance. It's off balance, but with a higher acidity. I personally use cocoa core because it is in between. Cocoa core are fibers from a coconut, okay? Another thing, when you read the ingredients on seedling mix, it'll say perlite, vermiculite, lime. Not the lime that you eat, okay? So with those four ingredients, why not make your own? Now, when I make my seedling mix, I use cocoa core. It comes in a huge block. When you add water to it, it expands to five, six times its weight because it holds water, trap moisture, which is what your plants need. Next, I add my perlite, my vermiculite, and a little bit of um, lime, garden lime, okay? Those four ingredients right there are your seedling mix. Seeds do not need fertilizer or compost when you plant them. It's not till they get their true first leaves that you start adding to it. Meaning that when it's time to transplant them into a bigger pot, then you want to add, okay? Now, for those of you that don't know, this would be cocoa core. See? Looks like dirt. Okay? Perlite comes in a bag like this, says perlite. It looks like tiny little beads. A foam. Perlite helps to keep your soil from becoming compact and hardened. So it basically fluffs the soil. This is vermiculite. Vermiculite is actually really beautiful. I love the color, how it looks. Okay. This is vermiculite. Okay. Vermiculite provides aeration and it also absorbs nutrients into its little fibers 
to provide the nutrients for your seedlings after their transplant okay when you add those nutrients or when you transplant your seedlings i should say into um your bigger container or outdoors they have when it has the mericulite in it you get ready to plant it that seedling cedar seedling um vegetable into the ground or into the potted plant you have the vermiculite that's close to the roots because as the seedling grew it root its roots grew so that vermiculite was close to the roots so when you add your fertilizer or compost that vermiculite is already close to it so it's going to absorb that nutrient the from the compost and um, manure so that it will get to the roots where it needs to be. That's why vermiculite is important. Perlite, of course, keeps it from getting compact and um, helps it for aeration and airflow because they do need some air to the roots, but not a lot, okay? Garden lime balances pH, takes down the acidity in your soil, um, whether it be um, potted plants or outdoors, okay? So those are some things that you need to know as new gardeners. Now, to make your own seed starting soy, I use a simple formula. And I always start off kind of a little bit at a time. This right here, because I'm a coffee drinker, this is a 30 ounce can, which is one pound, a 30 ounce can, okay? Inside this can, I have filled it up a quarter of the way with cocoa core. Then with that, I would add one cup of um, vermiculite one cup of perlite and about four tablespoons of garden lime. There are two different kinds of lime. Agricultural limestone, which is still lime, it's just a little more expensive, and garden lime. Garden lime is fast acting, whereas agricultural lime agricultural lime excuse me it's more slow acting and it releases over time now i am just off camera if you can't see it i know my measurements you know because i've been doing this for so long um i am adding vermiculite and perlite and my lime is already in my soil four tablespoons to this one pound can, filled it up with cocoa core to about a third of the way, one cup of vermiculite, one cup of perlite. And then I'm going to just mix this really well. Now it's like filled all the way to the top. Once you've mixed this in, and you don't have to use this. You can use a bag, barrel, whatever you want. I'm in the house right now and I'm just showing you because I have a pole barn where I have a big old barrel of cocoa core. My garden is very large. Um, so once it's all mixed, it will look like this. So when you buy your seed starting mix and you open your bag, this is what you see. It looks exactly like this. It is the same thing, only in stores, they use sphagnum moss. You can buy sphagnum moss um, separately. It is more expensive. But why go through that when it's the same thing as cocoa core does the exact same thing, only cocoa core is cheaper. Okay, so... When it's time for you to place this mix in your trays, 
you're going to moisten your soil. Always moisten your soil before you add your seed to your seedling trays. When you moisten it, you want to add just enough water till it's just moist. If you add too much water, it will waterlog your seeds. Okay, so to check to make sure that you have enough, not too much and enough water, pick it up. Put it in your hand. Squeeze it. If you get so much as a drop coming off your finger, you have too much water. Okay? So that means you're going to have to let that soil drain for two, three, two to three days. Okay? Just to let it dry out. Depending on how much water you put in it, how waterlogged it is, you're going to have to let it drain. So put it in something that will allow it to drain that maybe have holes or something in it. Um... A stocking or you know um, a strainer that you're not using let it dry out okay um, if you've put just enough water in it it should feel wet but also kind of dry okay when you put your soil into your seedling trays you want to make sure that you're putting it in to the trays and pressing down lightly do not push the dirt into the trays because then you're making the soil compact and the roots do not need to try to dig through compacted soil okay so you want to just push it in there enough for there to be no air flow coming through all right so if you want, if you're a gardener and you want to save some money, I recommend making your own seed starting soil. If you buy cocoa core, the big blocks run you anywhere from twenty to twenty five dollars. Sounds like a lot, but think about this: you planting your seeds, the soil is going into the trays. Okay, then. If you're using um, grow bags or flower pots to transfer, transfer your seedlings into, you're going to need more soil. Guess what? You've already got the seed starting mix. If you have your seed starting mix, there's only a couple of more ingredients that you need to make it into potting soil. That is why I recommend buying the larger blocks of cocoa core because not only do you make the seed starting mix, but you can also use that cocoa core to make potting soil. Okay? And also your vermiculite, perlite, and your lime is also going to be used to make your potting soil. And anything that you have left over, you can use the next year it is not going to go bad all you doing is keeping it in the, keeping the cocoa core in a dry place and you can use it the following year so when you do your seeding or when you do your planting in your flower pots or grow bags or whatever it is that you choose to use thing is it's going to save you money because once you buy the seedling mix and if you're using plants potted plants like I said you're going to need potting soil okay but in my next video I will show you how to make potting soil so stay tuned